first in the weeks leading up to Governor-elect Scott Walker's inauguration. Wisconsin Public Radio and Television are doing interviews with people who have advice for the new administration. From the business world to education, agriculture, and tonight, natural resources. With that, welcome to former DNR Secretary and current Executive Director of the Wisconsin Wildlife Federation, George Meyer. Thanks very much for being here. Thank you very much for the invitation. Well, Scott Walker says that under the Doyle administration, the DNR has become adversarial to citizens and that he will make sure that the DNR treats Wisconsinites like customers, not criminals. Would you agree with his assessment of the current DNR? I think that's probably an overstatement. Uh, uh, clearly, DNR has to be a, a tough regulator at times, but they need to treat people with respect. So there's always a balancing that has to be done. Why do you think... Uh, through the years, people hate the DNR so much? Because of the tough issues they deal with, uh, whether it's deer management or protection of wetlands or you know, issuing business permits, sometimes they have to say no because that's what the policies of the state dictate. Now, uh, who would be on the short list, do you suppose, for a secretary of the DNR in this administration? Well, I've heard uh, some names. Of Let's hear them. Former representative state, uh, or current representative Scott Gunderson, uh, current uh, uh, Senator uh, uh, Kedzie are probably the two leading names I've heard. But, you know, these, sometimes these things are a surprise. What about your name? Is your name in the hat? Uh, no, and uh, I retired and I have a great job at the Wildlife Federation. Now, um, the governor-elect calls the current TNR out of control and says he wants to simplify regulations, of course, and streamline permitting, and appoint a white-tailed deer trustee to change the way the DNR counts deer populations. Is uh, the DNR, in your mind, totally out of whack when it comes to deer management? They need to do some refinement, and I think they've taken some of those steps in the last three or four years. There were some professional uh, experts brought in to study the program. They made recommendations and studies are being underway to implement those recommendations. Deer management always is an adaptive process, and you have to blend the, the resource needs with the public uh, desires, and it's a, it's a uh, tightrope to walk at times. What do you think uh, about this appointing of a white-tailed deer trustee? Well, God bless that person. <laughs> deer <laughs> management's the most controversial issue that uh, uh, DNR deals with, and there are people on all sides of these issues from uh, foresters on one side and, and uh, property owners and, uh, of course, sport, some sportsmen would like a deer behind every tree. What about uh, your advice to the incoming administration on deer management? Well, use good science, listen to the public, but make incre incremental steps. Uh, uh, the deer population in this state is vital uh, in terms of culture and economics. Um, and we need to do things very thoughtfully in regard to it. What's your position on the 22,000 acre iron ore mine being proposed in Ashland and Iron Counties? I was just up in that area a couple of weeks ago. Um, some observations. It's an iron mine, and which is totally different than the Crandon mine situation. The water quality issues will be less intense in regard to this proposal. On the other hand, it is a far larger footprint than the Crandon mine, ultimately 22 miles long in Iron and Ashland County. It will change the landscape up there. Another observation though, that area is very depressed economically and jobs are a serious consideration need to be taken in place. I think my advice to the administration when this application comes in, we have the strongest mining laws in the country in this state. Let the professional regulators do their job, gather all the information, and present that information to the head of DNR, and uh, let, let st keep the politics out of this. If the mine meets those standards, it will be environmentally sound. All right. What about uh, stewardship funding? <coughs> Where do you expect that to go in this administration? Well, I would uh, hope that the new administration would be pretty kind to the stewardship funding uh, in the state. It's clearly important to uh, uh, the wide spectrum from bikers and hikers on one side to hunters and anglers uh, on the other. Uh, it, that land base is clearly uh, critical to the tourism industry in the state. Uh, so I would say that the current funding formula should continue for that program. Uh, it's a long-term, uh, what I would call a green infrastructure investment for the economy of the state. All right. Any final words of advice? 
this uh, current election was important in terms of fiscal responsibility. There was not a mandate to lower standards uh, in terms of environmental protection and wetlands protection, and uh, they should. I would recommend they tread lightly uh, in that area. All right, George Meyer. Thanks very much. Thank you very much, Frederica.